Houston, we uh have a problem. This is my issue. My energy panel right here in the middle is not giving my Acatel any power, which is very sad because it's the best performing panel I have out here right now. So I need to figure this out and I need to figure this out ASAP Ferg. I have already started troubleshooting um, because I feel like I've had problems with the all powers cables in the past, but maybe I haven't had problems with the all powers cables. Maybe it's these Anderson ports that I'm having problems with on the Ace Volt and the Acatel. Both of them have had some type of issue where when I plug an Anderson cable into it, it doesn't quite work well. So then I would try a new cable and a new cable will work, leading me to believe that there's something wrong with the cable. So I had this idea, let me try and show you. You know, I have quite a few of these eight millimeter cables, MC4 to eight millimeter. And I'm like, I'm having issues with the Anderson. Actually, it's not even plugged in. So let's plug it in and see what the heck happens. I turned it off because I was wondering if like I could get the solar to get it to turn back on. You can see that nothing has happened here and that's in there. Um, so I got a couple things to do. So let me finish telling you what I, what I did. Like I said, I have had issues in my mind with these all powers MC4 to Anderson cables. So I've had to shuffle things around. So that's immediately what I thought was the problem. Now I don't have any more Anderson cables that will work, but I'm in my mind, I'm like, well, I gotta order Anderson cables every you know eight months or so. But I remember I have this X-Star eight millimeter parallel cable that came with the X-Star panel and it dead ends in Anderson. So I got these uh, MC4 to eight millimeter cables on deck. So I'm like, well, let me pop an eight millimeter on, pop that into there, go Anderson, still nothing. So now the next thing I need to do is I need to grab my voltmeter to make sure that voltage is coming through here. Pop in that into that and that into that. I'm so very confused because what this is showing right now is one point something millivolts. What the heck? I could go directly to the cable, the MC4 extension. I wonder if I'm touching this thing right or if I'm not getting the leads in here because these Anderson cables, I don't know a whole lot about them. Yeah, I'm just not getting any voltage here. Now the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get down here on this MC4 cable. All right, here we go. I got positive or negative already in there. Okay, that's getting me 35 volts. That's more like it. So let me put, um, yeah, I don't, I don't understand. All right, let me go back to the drawing board here and see if I can put another uh, cable in here and see kind of what's what. Okay, here is another uh, cable that uh, uh, probably came with the Ace Volt or the Acatel. They have these really short cables. These are the Anderson cables that I like because they were like super long. Okay, that one's getting 35 volts. So that's good. All right, let's try this one. All right, here goes. Look at that, power right on and now it's charging again. So I'm glad, listen, I'm excited <laughs> that it's not the device and it's not the port, but it is the cable. And I don't understand. I don't understand why this cable failed. I got another one upstairs that potentially failed as well. Now I had issues with this cable upstairs on the Ace Volt. It was really tricky. I'm just gonna leave this thing be for now so I could get this power and then I'll revisit it a little later, but it seems like I'm having cable issues. All right, thank y'all, God bless y'all, good night.